To assemble and create a pom-pom chick, you will just need some basic yarn already pre-tied for you along with a few basic craft items that will be provided. To start, you will need to stack and tie together a white and yellow pom-pom in the middle with a piece of white yarn. Make sure the string is cinched tight before you tie your string off. You may choose to double knot if you'd like. Next, grab a pair of scissors and cut the loops of the pom-pom in half. Use your finger or the tip of the scissors to reshape the middle of the loop. Once you have cut through, you can go back and cut any remaining loops you may have missed. Repeat this process for all the loops. Now that you have cut all the yarn loops, you will begin to cut and shape your chick. This part is best done over a large cutting mat or trash can as it will get very messy very quickly. Simply cut off the majority of the yarn until you start to reach the center where the yarn is more compact. This is where you will begin to shape your chick. You will want to trim your yarn into an oval shape reminiscent of an egg. This process may take a while to complete as you work to achieve your desired shape and size. Once you have finished shaping your yarn, you will begin assembling the rest of the chick with two arms, two eyes, a beak, and some hair. Make sure you have threaded the needle and double knotted the end. Give yourself plenty of thread to complete this next part. Start by making a divot in the middle to place the beak. Using your threaded needle, start from the back of the chick and push the needle through the middle until it appears around the front of the beak. Thread the needle through the base of the beak and pull the thread until the beak is situated back to where it started. Now push the needle through the bottom of the beak and through the back again. Pull the thread slightly to tighten the nose into position. Next, position where you will place the eyes. Thread the needle through the back, close to the same position where the eye is located on the front. Thread the bead through the needle and then push the needle back through. Repeat this process for the other eye. Now run your needle and thread through the sides to attach the arms. Similar to the beak, thread your needle through the knot at the base of the arm and then thread back through the middle of the chick to the opposite side. Pull the thread lightly to tighten the arm into position. Repeat this step for the other arm. Finally, you will push your needle through the top of the chick and thread the hair wisps through the knot, then push back through the top and out the middle of the back. Tie off your thread and cut off any remaining excess. Trim the hair wisps to a desired length. The final step is to trim or reshape your chick. During the last several steps, it is easy for the yarn to misshapen or pieces to stick out. You can also use the tip of your scissors to create a jagged edge along the top of the white yarn for a cracked egg effect. And with that, you are ready to display your adorable pom-pom chick. We hope you have enjoyed following along with this craft. Thanks for watching.